must say, 2021 was a lot more eventful than 2020, but at the same time, I had a lot of misses. You know what I mean? What's up, everybody? It's Christian Miracle, and um, this is actually a video of me reflecting on my 2021. Looking back on it as we head into 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, as you see, I'm not home right now. I'm actually in Niagara Falls. Fantastic hotel here in Niagara Falls. It's my favorite getaway spot. This is the second time I've been here this year, actually. And I... <laughs> I haven't been here for New Year's festivities since 2016, actually. 2015, 2016. And it was great for that. I had a great time with that. It was awesome. And then two weeks later, my optimistic empire came into my life. So, who knows what 2022 will bring me? Um, I thought I'd also look back on this, and I wanna also want to get your thoughts. I want to see you guys type in the comments what you felt was the best and worst parts for you in your life in 2021, because I'm all about sharing. You know me. Uh, what did I, How do I start this off? I guess we start all the way back to January. Back in January. Um, when 2021 began, I'm up here in Toronto... Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I started off the year in a lockdown. Everybody, everywhere in Canada was locked down. You know, there was a lot of... COVID was running rap rampant. Not as much as it is right now, actually. As a matter of fact, it's three times worse now. If you look on the records, uh, we get a shit ton of COVID cases every single day from forty to 50,000. And speaking of, um, as of this moment right now, Mama Miracle actually tested positive for COVID-19. Over the course of the holidays, my brother also did. And I was isolated in my house for the longest time, for the entirety of Christmas. So I didn't get to see my family. I didn't get to exchange gifts. I didn't, I didn't get to, uh, I had to enjoy a turkey dinner by myself. That's just sad. But... Going back to January, we started things off in a lockdown. But thankfully, you know, Disney Plus happened. You know, Disney Plus was go was a thing. Thus, Marvel started releasing their shows, like WandaVision, which started in January. But the other thing that really kicked off January is a trip to the emergency room. I was hospitalized for a couple of days when this year began because I was suffering from really bad uh, chest pains and breathing difficulties. Thankfully, none of them related to covid uh, but when I finally got told that I was okay, everything was all right, for whatever reason, things just started calming down for me. I think that's just what I needed to hear. And I remember throughout January, I set up a new schedule. I was actually getting up extra early every morning, and it was weird. But as a result of getting up extra early every morning and doing a daily routine, I ended up making a lot of, a lot of content. Uh, all of a, I went from, you know, struggling to make a WWE Sins video to all of a sudden finishing a WWE Sins videos in a couple days. And then I realized about a week later, oh my god, I just finished like three weeks worth of content here. Okay, we're on a groove now. Let's get this going. So that's why, that's why in January you guys noticed there was a number of Royal Rumble and Mini Sins uh, releasing a couple times a week. And everybody's like, oh my god, Christian Miracle from like 2016 and 2017 is back. And for a while I was. For a while I was. Then some personal stuff happened. Some stuff that I am not comfortable talking about right on here because it involves family. Some really bad things happened. Just, there was a lot of trust issues. A lot of trusts and betrayal. And as a result, that hurt me and my mindset. And when that hurt me in my mindset, that caused me to have yet another battle with my inner demons. So, uh, <laughs> that ended up ruining a lot of things. It just goes to show that, you know, family stuff happens. Personal life matters are unpredictable. It got to the point where 2021 was, without a doubt, a horrible year for me and for you guys. And for that, I'm personally sorry. I mean, I... I took a lot of breaks. I took a lot of breaks. There was actually a few moments this year where 
I actually was in good mental condition, but I didn't make the content because my mindset wasn't into it. And the reason for that is because I'm dead. I spent a lot of time on social media this year in which uh, a lot of toxicity kept happening, whether it was people being toxic to me or vice versa, me being toxic to them. And it was uh, pretty rough. Uh, But things got a little better when WrestleMania week happened on my birthday. Um, I was a little sick when it happened, but I had a great time. Had my own personal ice cream cake created by Dairy Queen. Hadn't done that in a few years, so it was awesome to get to do that again. Enjoyed the entirety of WrestleMania week, including like Hall of Fame, uh, two nights of NXT TakeOver, NXT UK Prelude, the SmackDown prior to Mania, two nights of WrestleMania, which include the return of the fans temporarily, and the Raw after Mania, which sucked. (laughs) And then there was some times where for a month and a half after that, I actually stopped watching uh, WWE and AEW. I stopped watching wrestling for a while. That's another reason why I suddenly stopped making content was because I wanted to just take a break from wrestling entirety. Entirely, not entirety. That's a sin on me. (laughs) Uh, I came back to it in May. Released the Sins of the Fast Lane, the two nights of TakeOver, and WrestleMania. And then WrestleMania Backlash. Got myself back on the groove for that. Um, throughout, Throughout the year, I enjoyed... The Marvel series that was released, like I mentioned, WandaVision, there was also Falcon, the Winter Soldier, and Loki. Mama Miracle and I, we enjoy it very much because we enjoy the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We enjoy Star Wars as well. And we enjoy, like, the best thing about all that was, you know, I get to spend time with her. You know, away from everything else. Away from everyone else. Sometimes that's just what we need. And that's what I did. <sighs> and then the summer came along. Not only did the fans return to wrestling and a lot of other things, other great things happen, but I also came back to Virginia to to see my brother Josh again uh, for the first time in over a year. As a matter of fact, it was one year and one day from the day where I last left Virginia. That was pretty funny. So I made a funny joke to him. I was like, okay, this is me picking up where we left off. You know, that'll work. Sorry about that. Uh, I had a great week with him. I had a great time to spend with his family. Celebrated his grandmother's birthday as well. So we had like a family gathering. And it was so much fun. <sighs> Not saying her age on here because, well, that's personal information. But she still kind of whooped my ass and Josh's ass when we were playing cornhole. That's what it was. We were playing cornhole. And <laughs> she had Josh and I sweating. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, in August, my parents from Vancouver suddenly showed up out of nowhere during SummerSlam weekend. So the fact that I got to reunite with my father, that honestly just brightened my day up. And when all that happened, I was like, everything's looking great again. We watched SummerSlam together. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed, like, seeing the... Sh- we got to see together, like, the arrivals of CM Punk and AEW... Or Brock Lesnar returning in WWE. I also enjoyed John Cena's return in Money in the Bank. It was just amazing. And for the first time in almost two years, you know, you felt like you felt like the life that, you know, we were living before is back, in a way, with some limitations. That's exactly what happened. Also in August, right after I returned from Virginia, I actually came over here to Niagara Falls. I spent in a, about a few days in a massive suite. I'm not in a suite right now. I'm in a, I'm in a regular hotel room because if you're – here's the thing, folks. If you go to Niagara Falls during New Year's, they up the prices on hotels. Trust me, they do. Whew. So I was spending a few days in Niagara Falls in August. Um, had a good time. There's always a good time here because there's always something to do. Whether it's just hanging out at the falls, uh, hanging out over at Clifton Hill, or going somewhere else, going to a casino, or in my case, I went to that Falls View water park for the first time ever. I ended up climbing so many flights of stairs. <laughs> but it was worth it, because I had a fantastic time, and I'm appreciative of that. Then after the, after the summer ended, um, I returned on the road again. I began what I called the Feels Good to Be Back Tour. 
in September. You know, when I went to Chicago to attend my very first AEW event where I went to All Out. Technically, my first AEW event was Rampage, and it sucked ass, and people gave me flack for that. But I was like, if you look at that ver- that edition of Rampage, it sucked. And when you watch Dark, that's a waste of time. AEW Dark and Dark Elevation are both shows that are wastes of time because they're 15 to 20 minute squash matches in under two hours. Yeah, that's just sad and ridiculous. But I also uh, made Mama Miracle's dream come true when we went to the Chicago Cubs game at Wrigley Field when they played Pittsburgh Pirates. And thankfully that weekend, both games were great. We attended the one on Saturday, September the 4th. And it was like like the Pirates were about to win the whole thing. Then all of a sudden, in like one single inning, the Cubs like whoosh, swapped everything around. It's like a Uno reverse card. They basically Uno reverse card the whole thing. Yeah. It was so good. To see Mama Miracle enjoying herself, having fun, smiling and cheering when the Cubs won the game. Then an AW All Out, um, it was great to see the first match of CM Punk since Royal Rumble 2014 and my favorite part actually of all that was shockingly not the arrivals of Brian Danielson Adam Cole and Ruby Soho no my favorite part of all out was the fans the audience electric not to mention of course there was a number of fans who actually met up with me at the show they got to see me they had took some pictures of them and if you guys are watching this Hope to see you guys next time I'm in Chicago. So I, ca- so I came back, and then I continued the tour a few weeks later when I went to Columbus, Ohio. But then, um, here's like, I was at Columbus, Ohio at the end of September for WWE Extreme Rules, so I was back at my first. And as of right now, <laughs> as of pretty much, yeah, we're in 2022 now. So. so I would say, yeah, my only WWE event of 2021. I attended four AEW events and one WWE event. Does that make me an AEW sexual? Did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> a lot of circumstances happen. Um, something went wrong with my physical my physical health. I don't know why. I've been actually doing well. Uh, so I went to the went to the AEW show in Rochester. But here's the thing: I spent a couple days in Rochester. And aside from attending the show and going out to see my family who were in Rochester, I spent the rest of my time in my hotel resting in bed. I didn't vlog that much of... Actually, the only thing I vlogged from AEW Dynamite was when Sammy Guevara won the TNT title because I wanted to capture that my reaction in that moment. And boy, that was a lot of fun. Went home after that, rested up. I was healthy within a few days. Good to go. Um, I've been, I've been getting myself back onto a great schedule when it comes to working out. As a matter of fact, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, November, November, November was fun because I returned to Virginia to see Josh when he was in college, but the cool thing about it was he had no idea I was there. He had no idea I was there. He was just going about his usual day, uh, he got done with class, walked outside, and all of a sudden, boom, there I am. <laughs> he was happy to see me. We went to AW Dynamite that night in Norfolk, Virginia. And that was Josh's first AW event, and I loved it. He enjoyed it. We spent a great week together. It was it's always great to just get away from everything when you need to. You know, sometimes here's the thing. I know it can be frustrating whenever some at times I take breaks from YouTube, but the reason I do that is either I'm trying to fight my mental health because that's very important no matter what the haters are saying, and people are literally making running gags now. Christian Miracle, when's he going to take his next break? Well, to answer your question, probably sometime later. I cannot guarantee anything, but if I need to take a break, I will let you guys know. The thing is, as you guys know, I I suffer not just from depression and anxiety, but I've also got mental health disorders. Like I'm autistic, I got Asperger's syndrome, ADD, ADHD. 
physical Tourette syndrome, so see me do that a lot. See my okay, that was actually intentional. That that first that one time I did that was intentional, but all the other times, uh, whenever you see me suddenly twitch or blink or muscles suddenly flex, I don't know where. It's because I can't. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. It's physical Tourette syndrome. There's quite a number of people who actually have that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of times where this pandemic and these limitations and the confusion on how people are handling the pandemic hurt me pretty badly. If you look back in 2019, the last year, but the last full year, that had nothing wrong. I was doing good. I was making content content on a balanced basis. There were times I took some breaks, but they were when I needed it because of a family matter. And I'd be like, okay, there's something going on, but I'm going to need to take some time off. So I'll be right back, guys. And then there was the time I had a heart attack in September of 2019. That was horrible. Uh, not a good experience. It really isn't. What else happened in 2021? Uh, this December, um, I may not have gotten a lot of gifts from my family during Christmas, but I got myself quite a number of gifts. I got a new iMac, which is why my microphone um, sounds a little different at times when you hear me on the Sins videos and podcasts. I got a new... Uh, here's the thing. I got a new iPhone. It's on here. It's actually what I'm recording with new generation and I got myself a brand new treadmill been trying to save up to find a good reason find a good price on treadmills and then finally I went to Canadian Tire on Black Friday Black Friday sales and Boxing Day sales are the best I managed to finally get myself a brand new treadmill it looks great it runs pretty well it's awesome and then I'm like, finally, can wake up every morning now and get on that treadmill, drink some water, get myself back in shape, and start my day. Finally. And there was a time I actually got legitimately pissed off at somebody. And I was like losing my mind. I wanted to hit something. I wanted to just run away. But then the moment my mind said run away, I actually went downstairs, turned on my treadmill, blasted up the speed, and ran as fast as I could. Didn't stop running until I was either burned out literally or I was no longer pissed off. You should, you guys should try that. I mean, don't run as fast as you can, but a, a good way of coping with anger issues, if you have a treadmill or something like that, activate it. Turn it on and start running. Just imagine yourself running away from home, running away from all that problems. Don't, li don't literally run away because... That's just going to be one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make. Uh, let's see. Lana, Josh, and I, we co-hosted the Optimistic Awards this year. That was the first time I ever did that. And as you guys know, uh, the black hair is coming back in, so i got to get this redone. And my God, my hair is reaching AJ Styles' level of long. But I like the long hair. Looks great on me. Some people agree, some people disagree, but you know what? It ain't, sorry, with all due respect, it ain't about what they think, it's about what I think of myself. I am not in this for public opinion. That is not me. I don't do YouTube for the publicity. I do YouTube because I enjoy it. It's something fun, and if I hadn't been for YouTube, I wouldn't have met a lot, some of the best people I've ever got the pleasure to meet. From Long to Josh, to FGC, to Adam the Losers Lounge, the list is going to go on and on and on and on and on, but I am grateful for every last one of them. So do I have New Year's resolutions for 2022? Yeah, I do. To do better than this year. I don't know how I'm going to, but that's my goal. As of this video, and I'm actually going to add this in so I don't jinx myself, Unless something bad happens with COVID-19, in this case, everything has gone to shit. The Omicron variant is spreading like more than, actually it's spreading more than a wildfire. Unless something goes to shit really badly with COVID-19, I'm going to be returning to Dallas, Texas for WrestleMania. 
Fingers crossed. I'm also going to try my best to see what I can do about getting new content. Oh, by the way, the WWE Quick Sins. I introduced the Quick Sins in October, and that was a fail, wasn't it? Yep. It was actually good for a while. You know, for four to five weeks, I was releasing the WWE Quick Sins on the weekly editions of Raw SmackDown. The reason they stopped is not because um, it was overstressing me. Actually, that kind of was the reason. But a big one, here's the big one. The WWE, the WWE Quick Sins are canceled because there are just times I don't feel like watching Raw or SmackDown. Shockingly enough for that, people call me a WWE shill. But here's the thing. There are times I just don't feel like watching the show. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've watched Raw or SmackDown the last few weeks. So, there's that. So, this video was basically me reflecting on my 2021. And it was a long one. <laughs> what did you guys think of your 2021? Did it live up to your expectations? Was it better than 2020 for you? Or was it worse? Whatever the case is, I really hope everyone is staying safe out there. Um... I don't know what 2022 is going to bring for me, personally, on, on a personal level. But throughout the year, I'm actually going to look through other options for other things. I'm not saying I'm quitting. I will never quit. But at the same time, I'm almost 26 years old. And I don't want to keep doing just YouTube forever. You know, well, I'm still wild and young. I want to try other things. Like, I want to explore. I want to maybe refulfill dreams. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. But in the meantime, I got some content for you guys. Working on it. Once I get back home, there's going to be a video releasing on Monday, the next WWE Sins. Um, enjoy WWE Day 1 tonight. And do not forget to be optimistic Short optimism, and think optimistically. Oh, shit, I forgot to put my hat. Oh, well. I'm Christian Miracle, voice of Cinema Sense 2 Expansion, former commentator of FGC Wrestling, which hasn't been a thing in five years now. <laughs> um, host, Co-host of the Loser's Lounge Podcast, leader of the Optimistic Empire, which is a emperor of the Optimistic Empire, and you are the Optimistic Empire, the best fans in the world. But why the hell did that make me nostalgic? That's a lot of things that made me nostalgic, but... Happy New Year, everyone. And here's the hope that 2022 will be much better than 2021. So, see you later, everyone.